Hello, my name is Jason Cho. I'm currently a student at New York University, majoring in business. And I run a restaurant and dining coverage food blog called The Insatiable Pal. I was born and raised in Seoul and moved to the States when I was seven. But I've been eating Korean food throughout my entire life. Now, when I think of Korean food, I think about impact flavors. I immediately think of ingredients like garlic, sesame oil. I think about gochujang and gochugaru, which are red chili paste and red chili powder. And these ingredients are sweet, they're spicy, they're savory. And my parents have always emphasized that I maintain a very healthy diet. And because traditional Korean cuisine is based on farming culture, farming grains, fruits and vegetables. You don't see a lot of red meat dishes as often you would in Western culture. And when Korean people do use red meat, we really make sure that the person uses all parts of the animal from head to tail. Now that I reflect on my relationship with Korean food, I noticed that a lot of my American friends didn't even know what Korean food was a few years ago. But because they always thought Chinese food and Japanese food was the basis for Asian, Asian cuisine. But, but now, they eat more Korean food than I do. They eat bibimbap, bulgogi, naengmyeon, and all the foods that I would because it's spicy, it's sweet, and savory, and because it's very delicious.